Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully and make dynamic our footer part. Right now, right now, all the data you are able to update from to the back end. Great. So now in this video, I want to discuss about another most interactive part as a our contact page. Okay, so that is our contact page. I want to first of all add some of the route and I want to load one of the contact page. So right now, if you want to do this work, that is in our font int into the font int, that is our header part. First of all, I want to go to our font int into the font int if you go to our body and that is our header right now i want to make it as a clean okay make it as a clean i don't need this i close it and the side button great so into the font int here you can see that is our contact me right so that is actually our contact me page so into this contact me page first of all i want to, do, I want to create another new route i simply copy it and i just name one of the route name i name it as a contact contact and i make it as a contact me okay so the same name whatever name actually choose so now that will be our route okay so for um, <laughs> work with this we have to also create another database table right we have to also create on the database table and also we have to create on the controller but um, first of all I want to complete this part so if you want to do this work I think you already know first of all I have to design it like if you go to our template into the template there is a contact.html so right now from here I want to create one of the database and into this database area some of the field data we have to insert right like as a name email subject budget I make it as a change as a phone number and then that will be our message okay so now first of all I want to create our database table uh, if you want to create it we have to create the migration if you click the up button then actually that is our previous one okay so i want to create another new model and our model will be as a contact i name it as a contact and to create on the migration table click as the enter now our model is created migration table is created now if you go to our migration table if you go to that our database there is a migration and in that is our contact so better i want to do to take some of the things copy it and now in our contact i want to add some of the field two three four five okay sorry that will be as a four and then five great so because right now our field will be needed as a name email subject and then the phone so i make it as a name and then i make all that field as a nanable that will be on the string type which is totally fine name email okay name email and then subject we make it as a subject subject and then the phone phone and then that will be as a message right so that's all actually our field and uh, there is a name email subject phone and then that will be as a message mm, okay perfect and for the message i make it as a text because that will be as a multiple data so here i make it as a text mm, great so also we have to update our model right now that will be the same if i make it as a protected guarded protected guarded for our new model i have created as a contact right so now i simply updated both of this click as a save all i want to now migrate our database table so here i want to migrate with the php artisan migrate click as a enter now our migration table is successfully created if you now go to our database into this database right now that should be another new table as a contact you can see there is a contact table and that is all that our field so right now i want to do i want to insert some of the data in here from our font in page before i insert data from to the back end now i want to insert data from to the font end. okay first of all we have to do we have to load our page so for doing this i want to create another controller better so i make that as a php artisan uh, you can see there is a php artisan make controller in our home now i want to create on the new controller as a contact contact controller okay that will be the contact controller great php artisan make controller ho in our home folder i want to create on the contact controller now if you click as enter our controller created successful at that point i hope every process is very clear to you right now we don't need this we don't need this um, the header i have already created that part and now if you go to our home now that should be another one as a contact controller so that is our home you can see that is a contact controller For our first job we have to do we have to take it in our web right so into this web i want to do after this i copy it now in our home folder into the same folder i have created another new controller name as a contact controller i simply paste it so now that will be our contact controller now i want to do i want to create our new route group better i copy it and then after that i paste it so that will be as a contact 
contact all route and our controller name i name that our controller name as a contact controller okay contact controller so now i want to, to update it that will be the contact controller first of all i want to take only one and now here i want to load on the page simple process now if you go to our font in header into the font in header i have already created on the route name as a contact me i copy it now we have to create it so that will be as a contact me and i put that our url as a only contact okay so that is our contact page i make it as a contact now i want to create another new method as a contact contact so this type of one of the method now i want to create in our contact controller so now if you go to that our contact controller here now we have to create this method that will be as a public right public and then function and then our method name will be as a contact and then i make it as a and method and method and also i want to do to load our model i uh, get some of the references from our footer so that will be actually same i copy it and now in our contact controller here i paste it okay so now our model name our model name for the contact i have created as a contact so i copy it so now that will be as a contact and that is our carbon great so into the contact area i want to do i simply return on the view page okay then, then that will be the return on the view page in our uh, font in okay into the font in folder i want to create on the new file as a contact that's all okay i want to simply load it one of the page i hope you already know about this part so i have already created our font in folder now into the font in i want to create another new page as a contact blade so if you want to create it we have to go to our view and now that is our font in into the main font in area here now to create another new page click as a save as and i just name it as a contact dot blade dot php okay so now that will be our page so into this page area first job we have to do have to take our extended i copy it now in here i paste it and also we have to and it right that will be as the and section is our end section so by our main master we'll get all the things we get that our css js header and then footer but our main part we have to do have to load so if you want to do this work that is our contact.html okay here header we don't need this from to this position we have to actually get everything right so now better go to our um, page that is our font in theme that is a contact i want to open with the sublink text editor here only we need which part I hope you already remember there is a main part so now i want to minimize that main part i copy it and right now we don't need this also we don't need this and in our contact blade here i want to do and to paste it great so it's very simple part now we have to do like they have some of the images actually so you can also update that images as per your demand like that is our contact page now should be loaded okay now if you want to check it like as a save all now if you go to our font in that means our page now refresh it now if you go to that contact me now you can see it's now redirected to our slash contact that i have already created and now that should be loaded yes you can see map is loaded everything is loaded successfully okay so now i want to do from to this position i want to insert all the data okay i want to insert this data in our database so how can do this work but i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video